Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this series I'm putting together, we're going from Earth out to Mars, but instead of landing at Olympus, we're going to land on Phobos. Now, unfortunately, in the last couple of videos, my heart rate monitor was partially blocked by another window that I had on that part of the screen, and I just didn't notice it. Uh, it's not worth going back and trying to re-record those parts for something like that because the heart rate monitor isn't really anything important. But uh, I have I have fixed that. So uh, let's just go ahead and continue on with our flight. Let me switch camera views here. All right, let's unpause. <clears throat> now in the last video, we completed our, um, our ejection burn going out to Mars. It was a bit of an awkward setup though because I had Transex slightly misconfigured and my thinking was all off, but uh, we're, we're on track. We did burn through our remaining um, fuel modules. So let's get rid of those so that we can free up some mass. So let's switch to the camera view here and go to the payload editor. No, we don't need the payload editor. We just need this thing. Um, one thing I actually want to do though, I want to look at I want to look at uh, burn time calculator. So our current DV after the burn is 9 point, let's call it 9.5. So let's see how much gain we get when we get rid of the, when we get rid of this dead mass. That's just something I'm curious about. It's not important, but I just want to know. So we were at 9.5. So these are gone. Uh, 19 and 20 are gone. Uh, let's open the bay doors. Let's go a bit of time warp just to speed all this up. And back to real time. And 19 is selected and it's empty, so we'll deploy it. 20 is selected, it's empty, so let's deploy it. Uh, none of our locks should be burned out yet. I mean, no, we've only been gone for a couple of hours. So locks should be fine. Uh, let's just see what we have. So that one's full, that one's full, that one's full, that one's full, that one's full-ish. I mean, there's only very little locks used, so I probably brought a ridiculous amount of locks. Let's uh, translate a little bit. Let's, 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 we're getting, we're in, we're in darkness here, so it's hard to see, but in, on the video playback, it probably doesn't show up at all. But I'm going to translate away. Uh, no, I'm not. If I translate, that's going to affect my orbit. So I'm just going to warp time forward enough to get some separation between our vessel and those modules. And those modules is, are on track to Mars, but we, when we make mid-course corrections, then our trajectory will change significantly from those modules, and I have no idea where they're going to end up. Maybe they'll crash into Mars. Probably not, but maybe. If I think about it, I'll actually track them. <laughs> so let's close the doors. Let's turn off the APU. And let's go back to real time. And down to this view, F8 to see outside. And let's go to Mars. So we were at 9.5, we went up to 9.65. So not much, but it's not zero either. Now I really hope those don't get perturbed in such a way that they slam into the vessel. Um, I guess ideally those modules should have some of their own RCS so they can thrust away, but but let's uh, let's go. We've got a long way to go, so let's bring up uh, I don't know orbit I suppose orbit MFD and let's just warp time forward to get out away from Earth. Um, when I start warping time forward, I'm always trying to think, do I have the radiator open? I know I do. Uh, stuff like that, because I, I don't want to warp time forward at 10,000 or 100,000, because you have zero seconds to come back to regular time and fix problems like that. You will just immediately overheat. Rotation. I am going to put in a bit of rotation so we can see Earth as we leave, although it's probably just going to be a big black spot. I think that's Earth. No, I can see stars. Maybe I've already passed it. I'm just curious. Okay, so we actually will be able to see it if I just keep rotating. All right, that just gives us something to look at while we warp time forward. Habit I developed a long time ago, and let's warp time forward. Goodbye, Earth.
Okay, so we've got some good separation from Earth now. In fact, we're technically orbiting the Sun. Just out of curiosity, let's take a quick look at... I kind of want to look at those modules to see where they're at, but I, 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 I think if I switch views, do I lose my Transex plan? I don't think I do, but it's not worth it. They're, they're long gone by now, I would imagine. So, let's warp time forward. Let's get completely really really far away from earth and we're going to hear a buzzing sound as the locks modules get spent but it'll probably be a while before we hear any of that so here we are that's where we're going so we got quite a ways to go let's bring up transex on this side and we can see our minimum altitude and if we watch here, we can see our closest approach. It's currently going up. And from what I recall, it'll go up, it'll hit a high point, and then it'll start coming back down. So that's kind of what I'm watching for at the moment. And somewhere in this mid-course correction, I want to keep in mind that I'm not going to Mars to land. So I have to s convert my plan from an Earth to Mars flight to a where I'm at to Phobos flight. I have done that before. Um, I have not reviewed any of those old videos, so I'm going to basically be relearning this as, as I go here. But I, I, know, I know the gist of it, I think. So it looks like our closest approach is starting to top out on the high end, and then it should start coming down. So we're at 0.7, and yeah, we'll, we'll see, but at the very least, yeah, now it's coming back down. Um, so let's pick a time here. When do we want to think about our first mid-course correction? I suppose we should get a bit farther out. I don't think I'm going to be able to necessarily wait for this to come down to some minimum number because I feel like we're going to be past Mars but so let me just think here just as an arbitrary point when the when that green line lies underneath of the blue line that's what I'm going to do my mid course there's no relevance to that particular time and there they are so let's think about a mid-course. <clears throat> so before I worry about Phobos, um, we need to dial in closer to Mars. And I feel like we're so far out that we can probably think about how to correct this just by guessing, essentially. Uh, it's not the ideal, efficient way to do it, but when we're talking about using control thrusters, it's such a small amount of fuel that it doesn't matter. Um, so if I tap 24.1, so by tapping uh, 2 at the moment, it's not improving my minimum altitude. So I want to keep that in mind. Now if I put in forward translation, that is affecting my inclination, but not in the direction I want. So 2 and 6 are not helping. Now let me try 3. 3 is helping the inclination, but it's not helping the minimum altitude. So I want eight, nine, and three, I think. So let's put in, let's start with some nine. So that's bringing down inclination and minimum altitude. So I'm gonna hold eight and nine together. And that's bringing down the minimum altitude and the inclination. So let's just kind of go with that for a moment. It's actually a little bit bigger of a burn than I thought it would be. Uh, that being the case, since we have the retro doors still open, which I actually meant to close them, but I forgot. So let's do a little bit of retro burn. Ah. I must have overshot a point there some somewhere. Yeah. So forward translation is bringing my minimum altitude down. 
at the moment. It's a little bit of main engine for Ford. Okay, I don't think we're getting a lot of benefit out of that. All right, uh, this this uh, maneuver is getting a little bit more costly than I want, so let's set up a proper maneuver so that we don't have to guess. All right, let's so switch variables here. So first thing I want to do is put this maneuver out into the date, uh, out put the maneuver date out into the future by a little bit. So 69.71, that's basically right now. And I'm just gonna set it for something like that. So that just puts it out into the future. And now we're just gonna play with our variables and see what helps, starting with prograde. And we're gonna go backwards to say ultra, actually even super. So that's bringing down the minimum altitude. So let's, uh, let's just hold that for now. Let's try some outward at super. So that is bringing down the minimum altitude, but sending my inclination in a direction I don't want. Let's reset that and change plane with the uh, super. Okay, so that's helping both my minimum altitude and inclination, but it's bringing down the minimum altitude much faster. So pl change plane is having a big impact on minimum altitude. And let's see about prograde. Prograde is, that's going the wrong way for my inclination. Okay, so negative prograde is helping the inclination and let's go, let's actually keep going with that for a bit. Let's stop right about there and let's check our other variable that we were using that is bringing that's no longer helping the minimum altitude so let's go backwards on that no wait it is helping it no only to a point okay to 439 then it's no longer helping so i think maybe now we need to incorporate some outward so that is helping minimum altitude that's expensive though Let's see if we can tinker with the other two variables first a bit longer. So that, yeah, I think I think we'll be able to do it just with prograde and and plane change. So that takes me to 18, but it set my inclination way up. And change plane, that's going the wrong way. And all right, these settings are too aggressive now, but I think okay, let's go that way. Okay, so bear with me, this is going to take a minute to get just how I want. So let's go backwards to prograde and let's go down to a super setting. So that's coming out the wrong inclination. Okay, so that's closer in that direction. Let's maybe go a little bit more. This is one area where IMFD is superior because you don't have to fiddle with the individual inward outward. I mean, you can, but you don't have to. Uh, you can more specify, like I want an inclination of that. I want an altitude of that. And then it figures out the variables for you. But we're getting pretty close. So I'm gonna overshoot a little bit in that direction. And now here, hmm, it's not quite doing what I want on the inclination though. Let's try here. So that's not what I want on the inclination. Hmm, let me try, let me try taking out some of this plane change. And then going back to prograde. So bringing down the inclination a little bit and then over to change plane and not the way. So those are getting closer backwards. All right, I think actually what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go with that for now, keeping in mind that we're gonna make another change at some point. Um, 
that inclination does bug me a little bit. Let me let me just tap in a bit of outward. Not that much. Okay, that's the wrong direction. Okay, it looks like I'm getting a big inclination fix with just a little bit of outward. Okay, and I like that. So with that in mind, let's do a bit of correction on our minimum altitude with our other variables. We'll go down to an ultra setting that's going the wrong way. So let's take some of that out and prograde it's going to an ultra setting. That's helping minimum altitude. Okay, now, and let me just get an idea of what what is the orbit of Phobos above Mars. So target Phobos. So Phobos' altitude is 5M, so we'll keep that number in mind so that we don't pick a target, so that we don't pick a minimum altitude that's super close into Mars. So somewhere between 5.8 on the low end and 6.2 on the high end, so we'll keep that in mind just so that we're kind of arriving somewhat at the correct altitude. Uh, we could actually plan on arriving at Mars to do a atmospheric braking maneuver, but I don't know about that. I don't think I'll be able to do that for Jupiter, and eventually the goal here is setting this up as a Jupiter mission, so let's not do that. Let's just go ahead and use the fuel. We brought all those modules with this, why not use them? All right, so that minimum altitude um, is a bit closer in than I need to be. Unless, again, I'm trying to go for atmospheric braking or something, but that, well, let's, let's not make that a goal for this mission. And let me just check my date. 709, so I still have time. Go down to an ultra setting here. And... Okay, we're getting really close to what I'm gonna, what I'm ultimately going to burn. Just trying to do a bit of corrections here and there. So let's go prograde. Hmm, that's not having much of an impact on inclination. Yeah, I'm at this point where I'm not quite getting what I want below that number, but let's see here. Let's try just a little bit of prograde again. So that's bringing down the minimum altitude. Let me just bring that down a little bit and then try one of my other variables. So that's, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I seem to be stuck at this like 15 inclination. So let me, bring up my inclination a little bit using change plane and then see if I can bring it back in a better direction with one of my other variables. So it's not going to use that one. Outward, wrong way. Ignoring my altitude for a moment. Um, all right, just, just a couple more changes here. Yeah, I just, I can't seem to get out of this 15 degree inclination. All right. Let's update. And come back here. So, all right, we're going to go with this burn, <clears throat> and then as we get further out, we'll do another correction and try to dial things in a little bit closer to what it is that I'm trying to achieve here. Uh, we missed our time to burn, but it doesn't matter. We're really far away. Rotation. 
So let's go to target. Let's bring up auto center because I don't feel like trying to chase this X because I'm not sure if it's in front of me or behind me. And we'll do auto center if I can find it. There it is. And we're just going to do the burn manually. <coughs> Okay, so switch to translation, but we'll do the we'll do the bulk of the burn using main engine. And a little bit of time warp. Just to get that X centered up better, quicker. And there we go. A little bit of main engine. There we go. Rotation. Translation. Translating in that last little bit. Close enough. Now turn off auto center. Turn off maneuver mode so we can view our real time results here. And that's what we have. So now that we have that dialed in approximate. Rotation. Translation. Let me see. So if I use that translation, it's bringing the inclination down. I'm just trying to figure out what combination I need to get it lower, but we're, we're just going to go with that. All right, so that took a bit longer than I wanted to, so let's go ahead and control S at this point, control P to pause, switch the camera views, and that's going to be it for this mid-course correction. When we come back, we're going to continue our journey out towards Mars with the eventual goal of landing on Phobos. Uh, if you like this part, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.